Hey, Ted here. Welcome to another video. There's a lot of uh, videos out there. I've been doing a lot of videos on the actual schoolie conversion process, but you know, it's uh, summer's winding down and uh, we're kind of back to work, but it's supposed to be a really nice weekend. Uh, it's supposed to be sunny anyway, so come along with us. We're going to actually go uh, have fun on the bus instead of working on it. Alright, so we made it to uh, sort of what a base camp be for the weekend, about two and a half hour drive. So um, it was dark. I drove. Julie worked like a 13 hour day, so she's zonked out for a little bit. Now she's rallying a little bit. But we're gonna just gonna unwind for a couple minutes and then probably hit the hay. And then uh, we'll see you in the morning for some breakfast. But we're gonna have some pecan French toast in the morning in the Dutch oven. So we'll show you that when we get there. So let's plug it in and get charged up. Oh, am I in the shot? No, not really. Mm. Now, you, now you are. I don't need to be in the shot. Huh? Oh, there you are. <laughs> uh, so, good night, and uh, say we'll see you in the morning. Cheers. Yes. Alright, so this morning we're going to have some uh, pecan encrusted French toast baked in a Dutch oven. Eggs. So we're making egg wash first. Got this handy dandy little egg container here because uh, as you guys know traveling around in the school we stuff goes flying even in the refrigerator so that kind of helps keep us uh, eggs unscrambled until we have to be. I'm just going to put four eggs in here. And that. Uh, I got this container of shelf stable milk that we'll use um, just because it saves room in the refrigerator. Okay. Stir this up in the fork. You know, it's probably too much milk. I found my coffee cup in the Dutch oven. I was looking for that. That's why I had tea this morning. I couldn't find my coffee. My French press coffee mug. That was always tomorrow. Spray the bottom of the Dutch with a little bit of cooking spray. I feel like using these uh, beeswax covered wraps instead of plastic. It's kind of cool. And Julie had made this bread. Left over, so I'm going to cut that up. to it. Some sugar. Some cinnamon. My measurements are so precise, aren't they? <laughs> and some pecans. If I had vanilla, I'd go with vanilla, but I don't, so. I think I set it on the fire. fire. Alright, so we got the briquettes going on here. Just regular old charcoal briquettes. Put a ring of 8 on the bottom and 12 on the top. There, and then uh, go drink tea until it's done. It's been about a half an hour. Um, really like to cook a little bit more, but we gotta get going because we uh, well, we're going boating today. We gotta meet, meet the put in crew, so we're gonna take it off and see what it looks anyway. Smoky. Yeah. I can't scooper, so I'm not in the <laughs> Except I'm not that. Ambidextrous. Bring it up. 
Mm. Oh, very artistic. <laughs> there, breakfast is served. All right, so we got our gear. We're gonna go uh, meet the bus and go up to put in. We're paddling the Dead River today. It's a beautiful, sunny, a uh, little cool. Had some frost this morning, uh, but a beautiful fall day here in uh, in northern Maine. And so, I don't know, let's get going. <laughs> So it was a beautiful day out paddling and uh, now we're back and I got some, some dry clothes and a little bit of hot tea to try to warm up a little bit and so I don't know if you can kind of see, so we're strolling back down by the river but it's kind of cool where you can see the striations here. So we paddled the Dead River today and that's uh, only releases a couple times a year. So well seven I guess but but then this is the Kennebec on this side so we're in the town of the Forks and they all this is where the two rivers come together. You can see where that's a dead river where it's brown up there and it's blue over here with the Kennebec. So, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of a cool, cool little thing that happens here. We're going to walk down, take the dog out for a walk down to this place called Crusher Pool and uh, wait, for, wait for dinner. All the way. Good girl. Aww. Good girl. Can we get a puppy? Good girl. Do we have a puppy? Do we have a puppy? Is this is your dad's? Oh, good girl. Uh, good. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we're having uh, adobo rubbed chicken uh, with some avocados. We're going to actually throw some homemade salsa in that and then cover it with cheese, put that on the grill with some mango salsa. So, just uh, one mango, one tomato, and uh, I think I just put a half a jalapeno because that's what I had. I really should have cilantro in there. Oh, it's a little bit of lime juice. I should have some cilantro, but I forgot the cilantro. So, which is kind of a bummer. We'll have to go sans and cilantro. But I'm just going to put this all in this little pot here. Like that. And then, uh, what do we got? We're gonna have uh, just a little bit of this chipotle. That's kind of spicy, plus you got the uh, jalapenos in there. Some plain old chili powder. I'm terrible with measurements, I just sort of eyeball it. About that much, I think. Very scientific. Some cumin. And, uh, some lime juice. That should be good. Stir 
that up. I actually need some salt in there too. All right, so we got our uh, avocados here. I'm just gonna spray them with a little olive oil. Both sides, we'll put those right on the grill and fill them with salsa. No, uh -oh, main mess. We're good at that. There we go. Put those ready to go. So usually we do like a, like an apple crisp or blueberry crisp, something like that. We're big crisp people because it's pretty easy. That's my buddy Todd. You might have seen that video we did. He's, he's gluten free, so we can get gluten free oats and doing gluten free stuff. Is a tricky uh, so we're going to do a dump cake, which means we're going to put blueberries on the bottom layer. The blueberries. Cover those with some lemon curd. And then we're going to mix up a yellow cake mix with this. Lemon lime soda, I don't know, it's the best thing I could find. Oh my god, that's so, awful. I can't believe you found it. I don't know. It's a I don't know, I've never had it. Oh, red curd. Curd spreader. This thing's oh, kicking my butt. Can I? I'm too tired from paddling all day. Oh yeah, we had such a stressful day at 3500 <laughs> on the dead. It was really that hard. We had to paddle twice. There. Huevos. 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 No, huevos. No. No. No, she's never any more eggs. Okay. I've spread Good. curd. Good curd spreader. I think this nuclear came waste that color. I, I can't, I don't know. I think it's supposed to be 12 ounce can. It is? No, I, I could have got Sprite. We should have gotten Sprite, but we have Surge. We have Surge. I can't. So the, the avocados and the salsa is all natural. The adobe rub, salsa, so they're not quite so natural on the, on the cake mix. On the cake, it's quite decadent. All right, let's go put it on the grill. salsa. It's the best. We eat so poorly here. <laughs> now Julie's slaving away on the dishes. I like that faucet. I love this faucet. I wish this was the faucet in our house. You know I love this faucet. Show, it, show us the spray feature. It's hot right now. Hold Is on. Because we have hot water. We have hot water. Ooh, it sprays. It pulls out. Woo! Woo it's in the big it. Sink. And it swivels in the sink that you said I could do laps in. You could do laps in that sink. It's a beautiful sink. And here's a, here's a hot water heater. This thing you're working pretty well. I finally blocked this. The edge there, you guys saw that. That looks like it. Sealed it pretty good. Is four. Yeah, it, it makes, makes the yogurt a lot thicker. And especially dumb cake. Dumb cake. Ah. Oh. Never heard of surge, and you still bought a surge. Can't, and the fact that surge still exists. Oh, whoa. oh look at that. Oh. What's on the bottom? Blueberries lemon and lemon curd. Wow. This is a cake mix. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>
Oh, it's a beautiful day yesterday. Another gorgeous day today. A little chilly last night though. We woke up and it was about, I think the temperature said 33. A little chilly. This little frost on the on the shredder boat there and uh, my pants were frozen solid. I think even the, I made a margarita last night too and uh, all the ice in that was still uh, still frozen. So a bit chilly. I have to get that heater in pretty soon. So yesterday we paddled the Dead River. Uh, today I'm going to get in my kayak and hop down the Kennebec. Uh, just kind of flows right into the the dead and the kind of flow together here in the spot we're staying at and again it should be another gorgeous day so um yeah thanks for tuning in so far and uh like I say, let's have a great day today yeah talk about this pancake oh uh, it comes from my mother's recipe like all my good ones do um big huge popover that's really tasty you get presentation points all right so it's a cup of flour we measured our cup earlier and a cup of milk four eggs Apparently, a few coffee grounds. <laughs> It'll enhance the flavor. Right. We need a little bit of salt. Salt is harder to come by because we have it in a grinder and I forgot to buy the salt that we could measure. But it's supposed to be a quarter of a teaspoon. Close enough. It's going to be exactly that much. And the same with the vanilla, it's like a half a teaspoon of vanilla, which is uh, not much. is you take about a half a stick of butter and you put it well first you get the pan screaming hot screaming, screaming hot. hot it's like 425 degrees 450 degrees you get that pan smoke it you throw the butter in it you let the butter get all melted and not quite brown and you quickly put the batter in put the lid on and walk away and it all right and always the moment of truth Pop this up, see if we got, pop this up, see if we got puffy. Oh, look at that, puffiness. It's puffy. All right, so there it is. It always falls a little bit after you take it off the heat. But uh, it's good. we're gonna put some yogurt on it and some mango and have at. There it is. But I should at least save some blueberries from last night. That would add a nice color to it. Mm. Bon appetit, babe. Mm, indeed. <laughs> So we're walking down the stairs here at uh, McKay Station on the Kennebec River. Uh, we're gonna, I think we're releasing 1400 CFS right now. We're gonna bump it up to 5000 here uh, any second. I think it's on its way up. So looks like it's a gorgeous day. Again, looking forward to some great fall paddling. Thanks for coming along.
great run down the Kennebec Gorge and you now we're hiking into Moxie Falls. It's the uh, largest waterfall in Maine. We'll just have fun anyway. <laughs> Again, it was a great weekend, what great weather. Uh, a little chilly at night, I guess, but uh, gorgeous sun in the daytime and just uh, good food and, I don't know, overall just a, a great uh, a great weekend. And I guess that's kind of what uh, what living in the bus is all about, I guess, going up to different spots, enjoying the sights and scenes, and then, but uh, really enjoying the amenities of uh, kitchens and beds and those things you can feel like a turtle sometimes, you know, you're kind of carrying the house on your back. And it was awesome, but thanks for joining us uh, virtually, I guess, I suppose. And, uh, however, any you guys uh, out there and want to make a trek to Maine and you want to join us in the, in the real world, we certainly love to have you and we'll show you all the sites and, uh, and get you around. Well, not all the sites, but just the sites that we know. I guess we can't really show you sites that we don't know. So. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Certainly appreciate it. Like, subscribe, do all those things that you do. Uh, until next time, I will see you later. Thanks for watching.